Uh, guys, game number one, it's going to be Fish versus Saron in the first map. Again, Northern Isles. Why is Ricky bouncing? I have restless leg and can't control it. <laughs> I'm sitting cross-legged in my Are chair. You? Yeah, very zen. It's going to be weird uh, if we ever go to a land and have to do commentary. To, like, I'm, I have to wear shoes and I can't sit cross-legged on my chair. <laughs> yeah, I think you stand, actually. It's like kind of... Yeah. I imagine it's very uncomfortable. Uh, yeah. But yeah, in the bottom left, playing for zero effort. It is Saran. One of the founders of the Zero Effort League, by the way, if you are watching this on YouTube or whatever, on Twitch, the signups are open if you want to sign up. That's all I'm going to say about that. In the top right, <laughs> Fish from Singapore. We call him Fisherino. Fish and Chips. But mostly he just says, stop calling me that, just call me Fish. He's going to open uh, pretty standard. Man, Fish is one of those players, Carson. That guy can hold... How do you think of that name? I don't know. Yeah. Fish. Fish. Do you think it's an appearance thing or a preference thing? Do you think uh -huh. he looks like a fish? Or do you think he eats fish? Does he likes fish? Hates fish? I just wonder where that came from. Nicknames can come from anything. It can really yeah. come from, like, if it resonates with you, right? What does Saron mean? I don't know. Norik backwards? Is that right? Cancel Ron. CE is cancel, right? Cancel Ron. I don't know. Mm. I have no idea. But what I do know is that this is a keeper opener on Northern Isles. Keeper against Archmage. A player's forces are God, we've seen this, uh, seen this a lot. Do you go into that mass tier three, mass archer, tri hero mm. orb? That's against what Archmage? I do. That, I only play mass archers with Night Elf. It's so fun, right? <laughs> That's all I play. Yeah. So if you face a Smurf, on War 3 Champions, and you're not sure who it is, and it's a guy playing random who goes Mass Archers against you with Night Elf, guess who it is? I don't win with it, but I sure have fun. Oh, look at the tree ends. They're not having any fun today. Oh, wow. Blocked in and entangled. Nice. This is good for Fish so far. He's going to scout this with the footy, actually. A last hit with the footy would be Scrum Diddly Umptious, but it's not going to work. Even, yeah, that Ancient War almost fell. That would be a rough start. Actually, Wax the Keeper. I'd whack a Keeper. I just gave him a good butt smack. Keep him going. Yeah. Level 2 for both players. Scroll the Beast or an Invuln. I mean, what uh, would you take? I would take the Invuln. Scroll the Beast against Wisp. Sounds like a nightmare. It does indeed sound like a nightmare. Reversed? Maybe I'd take the Scroll of the Beast. A lot of archers get a Scroll of the Beast. You have to break the expansion. He's going to do the first step in killing one footman in his base, Saron. But will it even be an expansion? No fourth farm yet. He's going for the lab, so this is going to be a tech or a very late expansion. One of the two from Fish. Very interesting. I haven't seen this before. Maybe I have uh, haven't done my studying recently, but I haven't seen this creep route against Night Elf before. Is there a better way to get level 3? I mean, you could probably creep the Murlocs in an expo and actually yes, expand. That's level 3. But having the lab open is always great in this matchup if you are going for an expansion, but he's just going to attack. So just a very early level 3. We've seen Cruncher do this creep route, but against Undead for a very early level 3 Archmage to pressure a Crypt Lord. And look at the items. With a Scroll of the Beast on top, this could be a lot of pressure coming Saron's way. I kind of like this from Fish. Certainly a lot of damage. The Mantle and the yeah. Claws is, is really nice. Claws plus 9 from the lab is very good. Wanda Lightning Shield, not too bad. Can make a play with that tree end, or can you can you uh, lightning shield tree ends? Absolutely, you can. And oh, actually, fish sold that scroll of the beast and bought another circle. This is very kind of sock style, like really stacked archmage early on. I like it. Could work out. Nice entangle on one of the foot footies. Going to be able to pick that off. Getting closer and closer to level three. Oh, Does shop. he actually not cancel, Drek? Sorry, go ahead. Though. Did he actually not cancel the shop? He didn't cancel the shop. That's a wisp. That's 135 gold down the drain. And now the pressure's on. And Saron has only got four archers. Five archers. Okay. Five may be enough, but no level three keeper. Now we talk about, you know, players giving too much respect to other players. Fish mm -hmm. is being the opposite of that. This is very much in your face. I'm just going to win the game. Be super aggressive. Look how much Moonwell juice... Saron is, is wasting before the footies even get into the fight and actually fish. Yeah. For some reason, is moving these footies back. I'm not sure why. I feel like he could. this now is the perfect time to swarm on. The, uh, you have dust on your Archmage. You have everything you need to actually 
maybe kill some of these archers, but he's not going to do that. Shop going down in the back. That'll be level three for the keeper. Interesting decision yeah. for Fish to, to go back. Oh, he wants to wait for a tavern hero, Carson. I was going to say, there must be a specific goal he's trying to accomplish by going into the base here. Maybe it was to cancel the shot. Maybe it was to cancel a potential hunter assault. It certainly wasn't to get surrounded, but he might actually get out this moon juice to give another entangle to Saron, but he's not using the moon juice that was available. Or else oh. he would have had another entangle. He's going with the skills. He's showing Twitch chat that I got the skills to surround him anyway oh, as the Archmage used that runs. Moon well. Yeah, probably. Beastmaster second. B -b 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 Beastmaster. What the hell? Yeah, that's what very, is going very on. Wacky. He's got defend. He's got a Beastmaster. He's getting an Arcane Sanctum. No blacksmith. So it's going to be footmen and priests with mass summons. And at the moment, I don't see how you hold this. <laughs> the bear is so good against these archers, man. Yeah, this is, is this though. is pretty. Yeah, why is it so tiny? Because we're zoomed out. It's tiny. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it goes sick. bear. So yeah, surround on the keeper would be really nice, but there's so many footies here. The archer's having to run back. He gets another archer, and he's got no moon juice. Carson, we talked about this before. He used it all. One moon wall yeah. here has got 55. <laughs> that ain't nothing. Keeper having Even to run back. Second, though. Like, is that is that what you want to hold this? You'd think you want Naga, a panda, an alchemist to hold this, but a demon hunter? Like, what's that going to do? Yeah, just take a lot of damage. The surround off for fish. Oh fish with the early surround. Does he pass the invuln or the TP, or does he just let staff. this level one demon hunter die? Nice staff, actually, from Saron. Good call, by the way. Keeping this demon hunter alive, but the moon juice is still so low. This demon hunter is going to be low for a long time, but he's starting to whittle down on the Beastmaster. Entangle on the footy as well. This Archmage, though, Carson, is just the story of the night. Look at the right clicks on that demon hunter. Yeah, we're talking about B-Ray the Destroyer, but this Archmage is a mana the Mage Singer the Destroyer. Look at this go. There is potions available for Saren, and he's slowly picking apart the footmen. The archers aren't being as pressured as much as they once were. If Saren held this, it'd be very impressive with what he had during this push. Defend is so hard to deal with archers, but he's going to kill the Beastmaster. He's starting to pick apart the footmen. Just got to keep that Demon Hunter alive, but it is daytime, so will the pressure continue? The first Sorceress is in, actually, Ricky. Yeah, I was going to say, the macro behind this, I mean, Saren is stuck. Can't build lores, can't build much of anything. The Hunter's Hall getting built outside of the base, but he won't be able to go into production. And Fish is already rallying, like you said, the Sorceress into that tier two production. He's got a, a barracks and an Arcane Sanctum. And he'll be rallying some priests. Beastmaster on his way back out. And the pressure is not over yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just don't know if this Demon Hunter second was the right play. You know you're getting pressured a lot. You know they didn't go for an expansion. The Demon Hunter falls, the slow is there. There's an Invuln available. But there's just not enough to deal with the footman. There's the inbalm. Moonstone is over. And the Archmage continuing to pick apart these archers. Lore's trying to be built to the north, but only one of them. And what are they going to build? Dryads? Again, not too good against defend. And here comes the Beastmaster yet again. Does Fish have defend? He does have defend too. Wow, mad lad. He's ready for this. And this is literally just an Archmage, really good items. And just push. And of course. Wouldn't be a human to, uh, push without a little bit of tower support. Yeah, it's so cool. He just immediately gets level 3 as early as possible. Doesn't care about anything else. Gets a sick items on his Archmage that he knows he can get because there's a marketplace, because there's a shop available to him. And just kind of kills him. Oh, the Keeper of the Grove. No TP, no invuln anymore. GG well played and fish. Gonna close that out with a... Beautiful timing. Just stuck to the game plan. I'm going to creep level three. I'm going to go across. I'm going to force Moonwell Juice early. Saran, a little bit too uh, trigger happy on the Moonwell Juice, and it, it didn't work out. The Demon Hunter came out, just instantly got deleted. Really well played from, from Fish. And Fish has always been on my radar as one of those top Oceanic players. I guess you would call Singapore Oceanic players. Um, he's just really good, man. He's, he's yeah. really good. Very underrated. He plays a lot of cups, too. He's been playing a mm -hmm. lot of skill cup. Um, a lot of, uh, you know, cups against a lot of tier players, good Europeans. So you gotta he... respect that, man. You can't be afraid of competition. Like, if you're a player that's trying to improve and legitimately trying to get good at this game, you gotta play tournaments. Wake up at 7 a.m., whatever. Play the tournaments that you gotta do. I think it's 7 a.m. for fish right now, even. But wake up, play every tournament you can, even if you lose in the first round. Do it, and you'll be better for it. And fish has been doing that, and he has been improving quite a bit. Yeah, and we got game number two, guys. It's gonna be on Amazonia. Let's hop into it. 10 a.m. in Singapore. Okay. Still early. Too early for me. 10 a.m.? Too early? That's bizarre. In the bottom left, playing for Singapore. Playing from Singapore. 
It's fish. And playing for zero effort with the Demon Hunter opener on Amazonia. It's going to be Saran. And he's going to go for that AOW creep again. Make the archer. Pull the archer. Bring the wisp over here as to act as that third unit for the lightning shield. Plastic cup at home. Real good for the environment. Well, you know what? We've talked about this, Ricky. We've yeah, talked I know. About it. I know. Yeah. Does that get me can right. can that kind of stuff get me canceled? Drinking from a plastic cup? Cancel that you know, maybe in a couple of years, but that'll happen regardless in a couple of years. So Saron, nicely to... gonna get the proper lightning shield. Respect. This is gonna be a good lightning shield. Oh, look at it, juicy. We've seen people mess these up recently, but that's good. Look at that. Now the ancient war hits the middle guy. Oh yeah, give me that. Nice creeping. Nope. Oh, go yep. back. Go back. Yeah, don't be don't be shy. Don't be shy. <laughs> don't be shy. There yeah. we go. There we Use go. it up. So far, so good, though. Um, yeah, beautiful. For Saron. Oh, the instant expansion for Fish, though. He's doing it even better. He does the footman pull that also people are terrified to do properly, but he does it beautifully. The Fish just seems to know what he's doing. This is the right way to do it. The instant expansion against Night Elf. This is good. This is very good for Fish. It's beautiful, too, because, I mean, he's playing against, you know, not to say better Night Elves, but Night Elves from Europe that will punish you regardless. You have to take these risks, and... This looks well practiced. This is perfect. Look at this. This is good. This is the best way. If you're going for an expansion, you should go for it immediately against Night Elf. Because look, now the pressure comes in, but the creep is already done. Whereas if Fish went for, say, the lab first, then the expansion, the Demon Hunter would be here potentially with Immolation, with two Wisps, with an Archer. And before you know it, you're losing every single Peasant. But because he did it like this, there's no way. There's, no, there's nothing. Maybe he can cancel this? That'd be great from Saren. He does actually cancel it. That's very well done. That's as much value as he's probably going to get from this harass, but that's uh, that's quite a bit. Look at the lumber. Yeah, and Saran just keen Ooh. to keep right-clicking blocks with the archer. This is nice so far. Blocks from both players, actually. And yeah, Fish needs more wood before you can put that expansion back down. And actually, with the Demon Hunter right in front of him, I don't know if you want to pop it right away, but he is going to. He's going to put it right back down. Demon Hunter oh, back in again. here. Oh, no. Even if you have to town portal, this is, it's the same position as before. It's canceled again. What, did I, was his, are his peasants bugged? Did you see that? No. He had to automatically, there is a bug in the game, which was around a couple of years ago. I've seen them restart in Asian tournaments where the peasants for the expansion won't keep auto power building it. And do you saw his peasants like? Oh, I saw a, four of them not building. on it. Yeah. Yeah. Only one of them was going, and the other. So it'll four, he it'll keep manually. toggling. Yeah, maybe I don't know. I maybe he did have enough lumber at the time, but maybe I just miss saw it. No, he didn't run out of lumber. He had 160 lumber. I'm pretty no, sure. No, he had 195 when he put the expansion down, and then he power built. So he kind of did. He was pretty dry for wood. Oh, was I clicked on Saron's building? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. He, he oh, when he okay. put the second expansion down again, he had 195. Oh, I thought okay. I thought he had. I thought he had 100 lumber. This so. is uh, okay. turning into quite the opposite though of game oh, number one. Oh, this is rough. Yeah, he's getting Saron with the beautiful timing. Spies the boots, goes right back. He gets it wow. again. Wow. Jesus, this is uh, this is rough. This is real rough. And like a, a a second cancel decimates your wood count. Yeah, this yeah, this is a third cancel too. And look at the lumber. And he's is he just gonna give up? You can't give up the expansion. You sunk cost fallacy, but you legitimately do have to keep going for it. Player's forces are under attack. I think he just wants to return the wood and then go back again. Because he is kind of wood starved. I wouldn't be surprised if he just returns it and then goes back. He's tacking, Ricky. What? He's teching, and now Saron is in a, a very comfortable position. And he's going to call GG. What a game from Saron. Oh, my God. He just wow. goes straight up for the cancel and gets it. Jesus. Night and day. That was uh, that was literally night and day. But yeah. what a yeah, what a sick what a sick game. Double cancel. And, uh, yeah, I don't think it was the, the peasant bug. I think he actually just genuinely ran out no, of I just I was just wondering because I thought I saw it happen twice. But he must have ran out of lumber both times. I guess we'll find out, guys. Game number three. Human versus uh, elf, Saran versus fish. Anyone in chat know what song that is? Let me know, but you could do the intro, Rick. Go ahead. Yeah, on the top right, and this is the spawn that I was thinking he was going to do it on, too. Fish is here. The bottom left, playing for zero effort. Night elf from New Zealand. Saran is here. 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> I just started doing that every time. I actually Abra, want... StarCraft, good job. Go ahead. I want to I wanna do that. I want to do that now. I'm just be like, he's here, and he's over here. Oh. What'd you say? Well, StarCraft? This guy in the chat got the song that I hummed. <laughs> oh, Four Sticks by Led Zeppelin? Yeah. I could have said that. I said done. Could you have? Yeah, I would have guessed that. Rock right. and roll ain't noise pollution. Okay, here's a, here's another quiz. What song is this then? Bum, 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 That's a cucaracha, cucaracha. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, see, I know my I know my music. Don't no, ever it's the test same, me. It's the same exact song, don't, dummy. You don't really never me. listen to me, do you? Don't test me. <laughs> I need an arc mage again. We'll see. Will there be an expansion again, Rick? Um, you know what? We're gonna find out, right? Yeah. We're gonna find out. It's a party in the USA. What a classic. What a classic banger of our time. Just like Napoleon Dynamite is to films, that's what Party in the USA is to music. To popular music. My favorite song. Gotta respect the grind, you know? Oh, I love it. <laughs> All right. Third. <laughs> Third farm. Third farm. And uh, yeah, can't lightning shield this creep camp, but you can pick up a really fast uh, bunch of XP and then go across the map. And figure yeah, out what this human's you know, going to do. Yeah, we would probably see Fish, if he was going for the strategy of the first game, go for the lab first for that very early level three. And if he was going for the expansion, we may actually see him... Maybe not on this map, actually. We might see him creep a couple of camps before going for the expo. The Wisp Detonate goes in, and that means level 2. If he doesn't deny anything, Saron. So nicely done. He's going to have level 2, and he's going to be pressuring again. And we saw how well he did that pressure last game. So this could be spooky for Fish. Oh, don't deny. Okay, he almost denied that Trapper. That would stop the level 2 on the Demon Hunter. Pretty good creeping from, from Saron. He's actually... Just needed a, a one game to, to change it up, but oh, okay. Level two now for fish. And yeah, it looks like it's going to be an expo play. Is there a fourth farm yet? Oh, there is a fourth farm. Yeah. Okay. So it will be an expansion, but the demon hunter, has he skilled yet? Has he skilled two abilities? He has. Yeah. Evasion and mana burn. We don't see emulation anymore. Whatever happened to that? You know, that was pretty common for a while. Just a really horrible ability. <laughs> it should be buffed. Should they be should buffed. have one horrible ability, though, right? They can use 17 heroes at once. There's so many versatility. <laughs> you know, archers are like a tier 3 unit. You can build it, you know. <laughs> Jesus, all right. Sorry, I just read it on a Todd tweet. Uh, yeah, okay, looks like uh, going to be creeping out the expansion. Here come the militia. Demon Hunter's here, but he's taking some damage. Archers here as well. The footy scouts everything. And this is tough, man. When do you want to engage Ooh. the uh, the creep as fish? Because, well, it looks like you're going to do it right now. You just called a, a buttload of uh, militia. Demon hunter. Yeah, you you got to call a lot. That's kind of why you have to delay with the, the creep in a couple of camps first, I imagine, is because you want to be able to call like eight, seven, eight, nine militia. Because you're going to lose a couple. You're going to even lose some footmen. But at the end of the day, if you get it crapped, and he's going to get level three of when he gets this crapped, it's definitely going to be worth it. Oh, is he going to get it? Is he going to get it? He does get it, and he gets the item too, and there's the level 3. But, looks like he still wants to come into this expansion. Demon Hunter going to right-click one of the peasants in the mine. Oh, nice, uh, mm -hmm. nice play. You and know what? I'd go ahead. No, you go ahead. All right, I'll go ahead. You know what I'd love to see on this map? And mm -hmm. I, you might remember this strategy from back in the day, because it was very common for Night Elves, even back in, like, 2009, 2010. Um, Talon push against the expansion. Proxy two Ancient of Winds, Ooh. like right here and right here. Pick up a Naga from the tavern, right? And even proxy like a, a Ancient of Wonders and a Moonwell and go for, for mass talents because they're good against water elementals, towers, and footmen. Yep. And, and I think it would be great on this map, actually, but we never got the chance to see it. Actually, he's going for the expansion cancel yet again. This is crazy. He might even force the TP, but Fish is going, not again. Please, not again. Oh, my God. Cancels. Plenty of lumber, though, this game. Plenty of lumber. Yeah, we should pop that expansion right back down. And now, Saron is way out of position. And I don't see him beelining it right back up. Unless... He's literally going to beeline it right back up, Carson. Imagine if he had winds coming up right now. Proxy winds. Can you imagine? How where, where would you that? proxy them, though? I would proxy them right where the footmen are, so mine would get canceled. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know. But there's so much space to proxy buildings on this map. You could proxy them at, like, the green camp, even, maybe. But I don't know. I don't know I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. 
It was a legitimate strategy, though. Okay, the Demon Hunter just beelining it, dude. Straight to the expansion. He wants to right-click this, maybe get a cancel. I don't think he will be able to. No, he's not. This is definitely going up this time, and Fish yeah. breathes a sigh of relief. Finally, I get my expansion up. But, like we said, Naga's out. Elf's already at Tier 2. Lore's coming up as well. So you have to be able to defend this, and you have to kill a bunch of these units. Because Lore's are going to come up, and that's when the Elf starts to get into the Dryads, the Bears... And the units that are going to crush you. You know what's funny is when mm. I was watching this game, like back in the Zotac days, man, there were so many players that were so good at holding an expansion, human in this case, that were holding mm -hmm. expansions with like two footies and a hero. Right. And, and they weren't all just the Chinese. Like there were so many players that knew how to do it. Hawk was so good at it. Majestic, another human that was really good at it. And you never see that anymore. You see players you going like to. seven footies. And it's yeah. like, it's just not the same, you know? Well, you know, I think you may have some uh, some bias to to the past there because they, I'm assuming they still built seven footies, Ricky. Yeah, some of them did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice run by the vision, but the footman's actually going to give it away. But maybe Ceron thinks it's only a scout. You see how Fish micros it to like be like, oh no, I'm just scouting with this footman. Never mind, I'm in your main base killing Moonwells. You have to respect this. I think if you're if you're Ceron, he's going to come back. Demon Hunter's here. Naga's here. One of the Dryads comes out. Picking off some Wisps would be good. Picking off anything would be good. Obviously, the Lords are finished. You can't cancel those, but... At the end of the day, the expansion's mining. And was there enough damage done by Saron? He canceled it, which was great. But he didn't really kill any peasants. Maybe one, if memory serves. You know, the tech is well-timed for fish. The expansion's up and running with a decent oh, SimCity. And Saron is going to have to defend his base over and over again. This is a lot of footies. Yeah. Two more on the way as well. Yeah, he's just going for the moon. He's just being so annoying. If if Fish can keep Saran in his base, then he's not creeping. He's not pushing. The expansion goes up safer. He buys himself more time. Yeah. Basically, he uses the moon juice before it goes down. He's opening up the lab, but yeah, it's actually better for Saran if he doesn't fully open up the lab because that means no chance for sappers, no chance for a zeppelin from a fish. Um, unless he creeps it. But he does get the Shredder, which is very important for him. And he's going to hold these footmen off, it oh, looks like. Oh, the footies eyeing the Shredder. Oh, he's going for the Shredder. That's so sick if he gets it. That is so sick. But he doesn't actually get it. That would have been an incredibly valuable surround. Potion Gritter healing on the ground. And Fish is going to see it. Whoa, Surround didn't pick that up on the way home. Yeah, Yoink. it, man. Yoink, and tier two for fish as well. Plenty of gold in the bank. Will he go for a blood mage? I'm calling a blood mage second. That's what I'm calling. That's what I'm calling. Could be a Naga second as well, though. What's he building at the expansion? Arcane Sanctum, Arcane Sanctum. A little bit short on wood because he teched with so few peasants at home, but he'll make up for that in due time. Yeah, he's, he's harvesting wood. At, what, what is he going? Oh, okay. He's going to power build the Sanctums. Interesting. Yeah, power him up, dude. Like uh, Power Rangers, you remember that show when they would all morph into one giant Power Ranger? With that show, I do you remember the really bad quality morning. one though, where they would turn into like a, just a mecha machine one? Yeah, yeah, I love that one though. Yeah, it was like the best Power Rangers ever made, and the quality was absolute horse manure. Yeah, and actually a really terrible show. <laughs> yeah, really back, bad. But I loved it. It was my favorite show. I had all the action figures. I loved it. It was on right, right after Mighty Machines. First of my love for guitar tapping solos. Yeah, Buckethead did that intro. Yeah, man, that's pretty cool. Oh, Reju, the Demon Hunter, a very tanky boy, but there's no town portal for Saron, so has to be careful to not overcommit. These are some high-level Night Elf heroes, though, so they can start soloing um, the footies, so you don't want to waste them too much. Fish backing up, which is a nice play. He's still buying time for his Arcane Sanctums, Priests, and Sorks, and Human Oh My. Rifles coming in, too. You don't want to lose any rifles right now. Ooh, this would be a big pickoff. The footmen don't even matter. The footmen are going to die in the end. The militia is being called. The Naga in the back. And again, you got to be careful. There's no staff, no town portal. Oh, wow. Shades yeah, of he's, Hunter. Yeah, he's playing aggression. really aggressive right now. This is kind of rough. Slow could come in as, as well with the Sorks. This is kind of a weird spot for Saron to be in. And the surround on the Demon Hunter. He gets it with the militia. Oh, my God. Saron overextending. Saron messing Ooh, up. Saron done goofed. It. 
And he had no orb there either, right? So he, he was really thought he had a good timing. He thought he had to do some damage and really committing there. And he's going to rebuy the Demon Hunter. Saron really, really committed to doing some damage here. Is he going to expand behind this? He's got a Wisp in position, Saron, to expand behind this. But he's got to get something done. Fish! Fish isn't losing anything. Fish with the micro. This is unbelievable. Might lose a priest now, maybe a rifle. But look at the damage on the Demon oh. Hunter. About to go down again. The second time's the charm. Level 4 and level 2. This is game 3. Saron! Might have to go up against Hellraiser. He's still got bears here. He's got some uh, dispel on the dryads as well. He's still got units, Carson, but Fish is getting value. He can almost afford the Demon Hunter again. Does he have a rejuve? He's got one rejuve, and he can now afford the Demon Hunter again. But does he want to tavern it a second time? Yes, he fight? does. Yes, he does. He's going to do it. He's a madman. Yes, he does. You want to stay in this fight? But, I mean, with no TP. Though. There's yeah. going to be another slow if it comes out. No, he just chickens out. 60 supply for fish, and the expansion is rolling, Carson. Roly poly -oly. That was my favorite TV show, talking about good quality yeah, content. Yeah, that, that's killer, dude. That would a killer show. I like, uh, like Pangu. It's all done in yeah, claymation. Pangu, Pangu, I'm Pangu, really Pangu, into claymation Pangu, Pangu, right Pangu. now, so respect yeah. for that. Yeah. That little beak, and he just like... Whoop, 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 whoop. The cost Jingle, of uh, Fish is playing on 90 ping. 90 pin. Right? Yeah, I think that's pretty even, right? 40 versus it's 90 or something? As even as it could possibly be, yeah. Level 3 now for the Naga. Bear's trying to heal up at the health fountain, but they know that fish mm -hmm. is here and they can't be too out of position. The Demon oh, Hunter's still the, not the back. Naga. The Naga! No, what are you doing? Oh, Abolish trying to save it, but there's always Cold Arrow the Rejuve. Is it enough, actually? It gets instantly dispelled. It gets stolen, but you can get out, Saron. He actually somehow miraculously saves the bear and the Naga. He only loses one bear when he should have probably lost a lot more there, but Saron lives to fight another day. The Demon Hunter is almost out, and he will have Orb, but right now 45 against 74, Ricky. Yeah, the thing is, he's going to fight, uh, live to fight another day, but that day is still today, and yep. the Siege is right in front of his face. 74 supply. I'm surprised no Militia coming just to end this game, but doesn't really need it. So many units of Breakers at the front line. This is just so much damage. Oh, I don't think that uh, he can hold this with just bears. He's going to lose a Moonwell. The bears are permanently slowed, and there's no more Dispel to stop the slow. Look how useless these bears are. They're just going to crumble. Looking like Orc against Crypt Lord right now, but will the orb prevail? I can't believe you said that. 2-1 <laughs> for Fish. Well played. Well played. But Those... both players, again, have to win another match. They both, Saren has another chance, of course, against Hellraiser, as you pointed out, and Fish gets to go and play our boy Deucey Woosey, and that'll be a banger of a match.